what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today is going to be review day because it is uh well actually we're going to start off our holiday toy reviews because yeah it's that time of the season december has started officially so we're going to focus on holiday christmas figures and i got a bunch of them so we're gonna that's what we're gonna do now to new year's it's gonna be all holiday figures again i always have time for ninja turtles and predator so the, those might get sprinkled in there too but for the most part we're starting something new this year we are going to focus strictly on holiday christmas stuff we just got done with our halloween horror stuff now we're going to do our christmas holiday stuff so what better way to start the holiday season off but to review elvira's scary christmas I just found this yesterday. I'm excited I found this. Um, I didn't get the first Elvira figure, but um, I couldn't pass this one up. This one is awesome. It's like a little set. So I'm excited to review it for you guys today. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Hopefully my review will make you run out and buy one yourself. I'm, I'm just kidding. If you like it, I hope you do. But um, I'm not trying to sell them. I just wanna review them because I like them I don't buy anything that I don't collect so uh yes we're gonna start this so uh let's get to it okay so like always we're gonna start off by taking a look at the packaging the packaging on this is perfect perfect take a look at it it looks like a present I love it look at the uh and then you got like spider webs and stuff so fitting for elvira they're peeking through a little bit but yeah so you got looks like packaging flipping around you got the bow and a little don't open till christmas pretty cool very covers the whole thing so that's sweet i mean you don't you can buy this for somebody for christmas you don't even have to wrap it i mean aren't they thoughtful so then this is actually probably on there the wrong way. I'm assuming this goes this way. That would make more sense, I'm assuming. So that would be the front. Someone had that on there wrong. And then you got the back and they're peeking through. So very cool. Top, you got Elvira Scary Christmas. And you got the bottom. And there's everybody that has worked on the project. And then there is the barcode hopefully that'll help some of you guys out that want to add this to your collection and now you get to slip this off and then here comes the regular box which is really cool so you got elvira right there elvira's scary xmas christmas and then you get that nice window with all the accessories in there. She looks great. I mean, look at those face sculpts, dead on. They're getting so good, it's it's almost getting scary. And we got the spine of the box, pretty standard. Flip her over, got her some promo shots with her in the baking sheet with the cookies. Again, these are all great ideas for posing your figures for your collection i've used them quite quite a bit help me get a nice pose for for them so i'm grateful that they do that but yeah that's the packaging you got this nice little candy canes and bats and stuff really fitting to uh elvira looks great they did an awesome job on the package they usually do like i said neca puts just as much work into the presentation of the packaging as they do the figure so all around it's all collectible and i love that i think that's great works out for inbox collectors out of box collectors it's great 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 but moving on let's uh let's crack this thing open because uh, i'm excited to open this one so i got a question for you guys do you guys open your figures from the top or from the bottom because I always do it from the bottom. I always like to keep the top sealed, so it always looks sealed. I don't know. It's not, not like I'm ever gonna resell these or anything, 
but I've always done it from the bottom. Let me know in the comments. Do you open your figures from the top or from the bottom? Curious. Well, here we go. We got them out of the package. God, first thoughts. They look amazing. Both of them. The creature and Elvira. Like, I, it's blowing me away how good they're getting these figures nowadays. Unbelievable. They look amazing. But before we get into that, let's go over the accessories like always first up we got the cookie sheet with all the gingerbread men on them and if you can see look at the gingerbread men they all got like they all got like bullet holes stab or stab wounds he's missing a head he's bleeding he's torn in half that's funny i don't know if they're coming there you go look at that that is hilarious i love that what a cool detail to include on those amazing it's really great then you, you get the mixing spoon he's got he's holding it in his hand and you got the, the mixing bowl i mean look at the detail on that like they could have most companies would have just put like some cheap little bowl in there if they would even have given you one and that would have been it you get the quill really cool i don't Look at the detail on the quill, like, just amazing. It's, it's unbelievable what they're doing nowadays. You get an extra hand for the creature. I don't think you'd want to put that on Elvira. But yeah, so you get an extra hand. It'd be kind of funny though, right? Green hand on Elvira. No. Of course, you get the Bloody Mary. You gotta have the Bloody Mary. Even it comes with the celery sticks in there. Hilarious. I mean, just, just <laughs> I can't even, I just can't even, can't even. You get an extra head sculpt. The winking, she's winking, that's a good one. But I'm just like, look how good the, the face is on it. It just looks it's unbelievable. Just wild. Look at that hair. That hair is just something else. Craziness. And then last but not least, you got the naughty list. And unfortunately, I did not make her naughty list. I might have to add myself in on the back. I would love to be on Elvira's naughty list. But yeah, there's other names. So there we go. So now is the time for the grand finale. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I guess we'll take a look at the creature first. There's that spoon that was the other accessory. Pretty cool. Let's take that out of his hand. Oh, there we go. So here's the creature. Looks great. I mean, just look at that. Look at the detail. It's got some little horns up top. His eyes. His mouth has even got a little, it's, it's articulated. You don't get much, but you can open it or close it. Kind of looks like a watermelon, right? <laughs> I'm getting watermelon vibes. You get soft goods uh, apron. That's cool. Got some articulation. He's got shoulder articulation, single jointed elbows, typical uh, neck wrist articulation. It's on a hinge, rotates. The legs got a little articulation, not much. You can move them a little bit in the hips. There's no knee articulation. And the tail, I don't think you can move the tail. I think the tail is what it is. It's all right, he's just gonna stand there anyways. It's not, I'm not doing no dynamic poses with him. He's probably gonna hold the bowl and the spoon just like he is in the picture. But such a great addition to this set. Honestly, he was like one of the main selling points. I wanted this creature. 
He looks, he's cool. He'll look good with all of my creepy figures. He'll look good with my horror stuff I'm gonna set up. Or not my horror, my ho uh, holiday, all my holiday stuff, my gremlins, my Elvira, all my Home Alone and Christmas Story stuff, so it'll be great. Uh, it's gonna be a cool little Christmas display. Some people do towns, I do NECA Christmas figures. So, uh, awesome. So there's the little creature, looks great. Can't say anything bad about him. I mean, obviously, yeah, some leg articulation would have been great, but do you need it? Probably not. I also forgot to show you, you get this, you get a stand. And it's got Elvira written on it. So that's really nice. So here she is. Look at that face sculpt. Just looks great. Just amazing. And she's got the soft goods, which is just awesome. Makes her look so much better. Soft goods really does do wonders for any action figure. Nice belt. Assuming I'm not gonna try taking the belt off, but no reason to take anything off. The hair even, look at all that, amazing. I can't get over that face sculpt. Just looks, it's. Here's her legs, get a lot of articulation with the legs. Very easy to move. They even discolored the legs so it looks like she's got her leggings on. So that's nice. I mean, they could have they could have done real soft goods, but I don't think it would have worked that good. I think how they did it is perfect. Looks like she's got them on, but you don't have, I mean, I don't even know how they would have found thin enough material to make it work good. So I think it looks better this way. So uh, nice call on that, NECA, looks great, loving it. Perfect. Single jointed knees, a little sticky there. But everything works really well. And you got her knee high boots. I got her to stand without the, she, did, she does stand without the base, but I think it looks good with the base. You got her hands, no extra hands, kind of sucks. But uh, do you need them? I don't know, probably not. This is the other head. I'm gonna keep the normal head on, I think. But yeah, she looks great. They did a really good job on this. Happy to add this one to the collection. See how tall she is. We'll uh, do some size comparisons here. Cause she does look pretty tall. So there she is. Let's grab. Here we got a predator we can use. Probably that hair that makes her look so tall because she's standing taller than this predator. Yeah, she's taller than the predator. The fugitive. We got towers over. I mean, yeah. Here, let's pull Mike Myers out. It's that hair in them, them heels, man. The boots, towers over them. There we go. Well, that's uh, Elvira's scary Christmas. Great looking figure. If you're an Elvira fan, definitely don't pass this up. Um, I couldn't found it had to had to be the figure that kicked off our holiday reviews very pleased with it she looks great i highly recommend it but that's gonna wrap up the review hope you guys enjoyed it and uh be on the lookout for many more we got the holiday gremlins 
We got Home Alone figures we got to do yet. We got Christmas Story figures we got to do yet. So we got a lot of stuff to do. So be on the lookout for our holiday reviews. I'm going to be punching, cracking them out as fast as I can. So until the next time, keep on watching. Keep hitting that like button. If you're not subscribed, think about subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Later, everybody.